Hi, this is Ed Gregory for Photos in Color, and today I'm going to show you how you can make eyes look amazing in Photoshop. So let's jump straight in. So today we're going to be using this picture of my friend Alex, but today we're only going to be focusing on the eyes itself. We're going to just do this one eye so that you can see what we're going to do. We need to look at getting rid of these red sections in the eyes here. These are always a problem. The outside edges here we're going to enhance and we're going to give a little bit more color and dynamic to the center of the eye there as well. First of all, what we're going to do is Command Shift N for a new layer. We're going to call this Retouch. Okay, we're going to come over here to the Healing Brush Tool, which is the second one down hit option and this is what's going to select where it is going to edit from okay you want to select quite close to where you're going to be editing so it keeps the colors the same so option next to it and now all i'm going to do is paint out in sections this vein moving where i'm sampling from as i go and you can see i can quickly move through i'm going to do this really quickly and I'm going to get rid of these veins. Now, eyes are pretty veiny, gooey things. So I don't like to get rid of everything because they start to look unrealistic. I'm quite happy with that as it is at the moment. Um, now, a good thing to do here is you turn this layer to lighten. Now, by hitting lighten, the only thing it's now editing are things which are darker than where I'm sampling from. So as you can see, it's only going to be affecting those. So that's the whites of the eyes nicely clean. Now the next thing to do is we need to select the whole, just the, the iris basically, and the pupil. So for this, we use the pen tool. We come back to the bottom layer and we make a selection. Now you can actually probably make a far better selection. I'm going to do this quickly just by dragging those points and getting the curve of the eye. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because you can edit this a little later on, but getting it right first definitely helps. Okay, and we're going to join this in over this edge here. Pretty much like so. Right click, make selection. I'm going to have the feather radius set to one pixel. And then on the bottom layer, I'm going to hit Command J. And you can see that what that does is it puts it on its very own layer, just the eye. Okay, so with this selected here, I'm going to come over here and select burn. That's on the right hand panel. It looks like a little hand with a circle in it. And I'm going to burn the outside of this pupil. Now have this set to mid-tones and about 20. That's what I like it to be. And just go around the outside and burn basically makes the darker darker and you can go all the way around the outside and I always do the pupil and I also like to just do the inside around the edge of the pupil as well and you can keep going over this to keep on burning that area turning it on and off as you go and you can see it's added a, a fair bit of contrast now what you can do is on the left hand side just above burn is dodge Having the same settings mid-tone, set this to about 20, the same. And then this center section, we're going to be doing that. Like, and this is quite simple. Come around and you want to make sure you're, you're getting that to dodge all of the colored area. And you can see how that has come to life immediately before and after of that layer and already the eye is starting to look absolutely fantastic if you've overdone it then all you have to do is reduce the opacity of that layer so we can just turn it down a little bit so let's pull back and have a look at this eye so we'll see the before and the after and you can see how it just really brings the eyes out and makes them quite electric and quite exciting yet keeps it really 
realistic, which is important. Now, one th final thing that I'm going to show you is color. How do we enhance the color or change the color of an eye while keeping it looking really realistic? Well, it's actually very simple. If you come over here and select hue and saturation layer, okay? If you add a layer clipping mask, so this is this button here, click on this and it's going to only make the edits to the layer below and that's what's really important here. So what I can do now is change my saturation for example and you can see the eye, I'll zoom in so that you can see it, the eye is going to, the, just the saturation, I'm not, I've not changed the color or anything at this point, just the saturation and I, what I can do is I can go through and I can just scroll through the hues and change the eye color very simply. So if I, for example, come down to this end, we can give Alex very realistic looking blue eyes. How very simple and it looks great. I'm going to leave this eye as its center natural hue, but I have just boosted it just a little bit. This is the original and these are the edits. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up in the comments below. Leave a comment if you would like to, and please subscribe to the channel. It really does help this channel to boost. If you like what I'm doing, great. If you don't, oh, I'm sorry. And maybe tell me what I'm doing wrong, and I'll try and do it better next time. This is Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you.